the ticky 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 room and the ticky 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 room all the birds and plants and the flowers and the ticky 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 I'll put it back now <laughs> Welcome to a tropical hideaway You lucky, lucky people you We weren't in the show starting right away We beat in, in the audience too to All together yeah. in the ticky 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 room and the ticky 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 room Tiki jungle cruise. Hello, and I'll be your skipper today. Okay. Hurry back. <laughs> Hurry back. Bags, day one. <laughs> Hello. And welcome to the, the family Bob and Anya. Hi. Hello. We are day 15. Day 15, halfway. Oh my god, yeah. Ooh. Wow, that, wow. <laughs> you got excited. I got excited and I also went, whoa. I feel like there's loads I need to do. Oh, yeah. yeah but there's loads to do. It's, no, we've done all of the, like, kind of important things. Oh yeah, all things. the big things. I mean, all from the your, from things your are side of things, off. you need to make loads of ears because you want um, you want a pair of ears to go with each dress that you're taking with you. I think I still have another, I think, ten ears that need to be made. It's quite a lot. Lots of ears. <laughs> so if you have seen all the dress videos and you want to put a, or a pair of ears to go with each one mm -hmm. that she takes with her. Because we can't take all the dresses with us because there's not enough days. No, but Too you can still them. try and take a dress for every single day. I know. Crazy. Packing's gonna be fun. <laughs> anyway, today, day 15, we're gonna talk to you about Enya's lounge fly collection. There, that's, that's this is some just of the them. beginning. <laughs> How many did you say you had? I have 26. So, needless to say, that's a lot of lounge flies. Yeah. Um, I don't just have backpacks. No. Um, I actually have. It's only two, but they're slightly different ones, which mm -hmm. I, is a bit cool. Um, but yeah, it's a lot, so need to say this video is going to be split into two. <laughs> split yeah. down the middle, there you go. Split in two. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, just jump right into it. Yeah, I was wrong. I actually have more than 26. I have 28 because I forgot about bum bags. Oh, I also have the bum bags. Oh, I forgot about them. You know the bum bags. Uh, that's where we're going to start off because I'm going to start off with my mini main attraction collection. So this was the first I ever knew about lounge fly because you, when we were like starting yeah. to meet up and things like that, you were starting to get into the, or you were buying the, the mini main attraction ones that came out every yeah. month and you were all excited for them and things like that. Yeah. These were difficult to get. This was like near enough. They'd done the Mickey um, plushes the year before, but this is where the whole monthly Disney store collection things just Crazy. blew up. It's just because everyone had spare money because they were all sitting at home. So, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's what it was. This, anyway. Yeah, this was, this was not. So I'm going to start off with these ones and we're going to try and go in release order. So. To start off with, because it was both lounge fly backpacks <laughs> and bum bags that they released. So the first one is we have oh the mini um, Pirates of the Caribbean bum bag. Mm -hmm. So it's all stylized black. You've got um, little gold elements. It's got the little lounge fly tag inside, and we've got a little a little ship with the zip. And then this one I actually got from a buyer over in Hong Kong Disneyland because I missed out on it and basically it was the only way I could get it. So this is the inside, it's got all of the little um, ship wheels on it. And yeah, because it was a, um, a Hong Kong one, I have a little Hong Kong Disneyland tag. <laughs> It's quite cool actually that. Yeah, no. So these were like little fun ones um, to have. They also had matching ears for all of the months and plushes. I have some of the plushes, I have some of the ears, I don't have the entirety of the collection. But yeah, it was something that I really like. And these guys kind of take 
proud of place on the old wall. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the first one. The next one that I have got, which you may have seen in our Disneyland Paris um, vlog, yeah. is the Mad Tea Party set. So this is just so much fun. It's super colourful. It's just crazy. You've got the little teacup there. And then on the inside... I forgot. I thought there was teacups on the inside. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's, just, it's just some polka dots. But I I loved this. We went and we saw um, the Queen of Hearts yeah. and the White Rabbit um, with this bad boy. And mm -hmm. they were very impressed. They quite liked it. Yeah, no, that was a good meet and greet. Mm. But I, I really like that the tag um, matches like the hot neon pink mm -hmm. because a lot of the tags are kind of usually just gold, but it's just something cute. So that's the second one. Right, Bob is kindly holding the next two because I've not got enough hands this and one. the whole bed is covered. <laughs> so the next one is going to be this tiki. one, which is the Enchanted Tiki Room backpack I love this bag and this is probably the one I spent the most money on <laughs> but I love it and you wanted it so you know me if you've watched the um the dress video mm -hmm. you can see how much I got over the, the tiki dress the tiki yeah. dress so you got this one first before the dress yes well this was long before yeah the dress for the dress is returned back into my life <laughs> and it was made infinitely better <laughs> but um, this is beautiful I just I love the Enchanted Tiki Room it's so beautiful you've got all of the parts like throughout it and all of the flowers and it's just it screams Tiki Room it's got all the tropical elements to it it's fabulous it's a nice bag I do I really really like it then on the inside you've got hold on a lot of these I do kind of keep stuffed so that way they keep their shape and I keep them on display so it's like can we see it now? Goodness. If I do it this way maybe you can just see kind of a tropical print in there. They did used to say that um, in each of them you were able to find like a hidden Mickey but I don't <laughs> know that. I am um, I'd seen it in some videos but I've never yeah. really looked because I just like them to keep their shape. Um, but yeah, the pattern on the inside is the exact same as this pattern, but it's done in like this dark green colour. Yeah. But it's, it's, I love this bag. It's gorgeous. This is probably my favourite one. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. This is my favourite. <laughs> then the next one, this is a big favourite of a lot of people because it is a sweet green backpack. If do you <laughs> it's like ah. um if you are a big collector if you know about lounge fly kind of world the sequin backpacks go nuts oh look how good it looks with the ring light ah. oh, the sparkle so this was inspired by um prince charming's carousel so you've got the little carousel horse here and then you've got the crown just there on the bow but this is super sparkly. Everyone kind of wanted this. It was the first one, I think. The original one that was um, the Space Mountain one was all sequins as well. Yeah. But no one seemed to go for it until you couldn't get it anymore and it had finished. And then people put it up for 500 quid yeah. <laughs> on the interwebs. For all the interwebs. <laughs> Which, um, need to say, that's why I don't own that bag. Yeah, it's an expensive one. Um, but this one is a firm favourite. This one and I think the uh, Peter Pan one, which mm -hmm. followed the month after, were big ticket items. So, yeah. very happy to have this one. Um, let's have a look. Oh goodness, I should have come better prepared for this. It's just like this kind of fleur de lis all done in pink on the inside. Which, also, props to me for remembering what that's called. I know, impressive. <laughs> oh. so. Does the initial one we need, need now need to get the next ones up off the wall? Right, we're back. Thank you to the one and only Bob for acting as my uh, storeroom assistant. I'm a behind the scenes kind of guy. That's it. He's been grabbing them off the wall for me. So the next one, I love this bag. 
I think it was um, extremely underrated yeah. when it came out. I don't like that one, but it's good. No, but this was one of them where I think I managed to get it um, from the website. Yeah, they didn't sell out that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, it did sell out, but I think really? I was just lucky. A lot of these I ended up having to <laughs> um, buy off of resale sites, Got which it. sucked. But I think I was lucky with this one. And this is the super beautiful Big Thunder Mountain. It's all done in denim. You have some stitching all along, which is meant to be the railroad tracks. Then you've got the trains on the other side. You've got the Big Thunder Mountain emblem down the bottom with all of the the can canyon, the caverns, canyon. canyon. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Bob, Bob, Bob knows about this stuff. He studied rocks. <laughs> geology rocks. That's nice. not that's not a thing to do with geology, but never mind. I feel like you need a T-shirt of that. I mean, there's probably so many designs of that. I think yeah. we really need to get you one. We all used to get together and have parties and make rock cakes. <laughs> Did you really? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You like to bake, so maybe. It's a joke about rocks. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> so, as Bob so kindly pointed out, you've got the train on the other side. And then it's all done in this kind of brown um, faux leather. And you've got kind of... Um, this fabulous print again with the big thunder mountain um uh logo on it up on the bow and it's just i think it's fantastic it's really lovely um let's see if we can get into this one again to show you the inside <laughs> really should have pre-planned this but you know Ooh. oh wow i don't even think i've looked at the inside of this bag look at that it's like it kind of matches the the bow in this oh, yeah. pattern. Look how fabulous that is. That's really cool. Doing a terrible job of showing this to the camera. Oh my goodness. This is why I am not a lounge flight YouTuber. Oh, it's oh. Really shine, it? Oh, look at that. Can you see? Bob knows what he's doing. There you go. Look at that. We're trying. <laughs> you only got your same battery left. Just plug that in. Probably. It's alright, I'm talking to my YouTube friends. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Next we had um, Halloween and everyone was super disappointed in this because everyone wanted a Haunted Mansion backpack. Yeah. And instead they brought out a bum bag. It's actually, I've not looked at this, it's cool with Manuota and stuff on it, but yeah. it would have been much nicer as a bag. So you've got Madame Leota in like her little kind of crystal ball there in the middle and then it was done, the matching ears kind of had like a, a veil that followed along with like the flowers. I mean it's pretty but I think a lot of people were really disappointed that it wasn't a backpack. Because Haunted Mansion is such a big fan favourite as well. Oh yeah, Haunted so they, Mansion they is huge it. so they really missed out there. So after that disappointment for a lot of fans then the next one to come out was the November backpack which was Jungle Cruise, which Yay. I was really excited about, and basically everyone hates this backpack. Yeah, Jungle Cruise isn't as much of a favourite as... Jungle um, Cruise is bigger now, I feel like. It's, big, it's gained it's more as, of a cult yeah, following. Yeah, but it's not as big as mm. um, Haunted Mansion. No, Haunted Mansion is so if they the supreme. You would have thought they would have split it the other way around, but yeah, I like Jungle Cruise. So do I. It's but this is the Jungle Cruise backpack. Um, a lot of people were confused. They thought it was too much print. They were like, it's it's too much with the sequins, which then you can see that this is leopard print, but you, if I kind of maybe move it, it's actually like haired. So l lots of people were very confused about this. Um, it's got like the little elephant like brooch and kind of the spears. I like it. I think it's cool. I like it. I think it's different. Um, but yeah, a lot of people were really disappointed. Mm -hmm. um, I do like this kind of signing material they've got for the pockets on the side, which I think they should have used that a little bit more, but, you know. They said that they were going off of the red and white stripes for the roofs mm -hmm. of the boats. Of the boat, yeah. yeah, exactly. But, yeah, a lot of people were fairly disappointed in it. Uh, this one... Ooh. It's like it's Mickey. Oh, he's found it. Found the hidden Mickey. He's found it. Let's see if I can show it though. I don't do. No, I don't know. But it's like a green. It's a green print version of the leopard print. There you go. 
but there is a hidden Mickey right in the middle. I don't you're going to be able to see it. I, oh, I could see him, but whether everyone else can, I don't know. But I knew where to look. I found him. <laughs> Good job. Who doesn't love finding a hidden Mickey, eh? I really love finding them. <laughs> so, that was the Jungle Cruise bag. Mm -hmm. And then, to finish off the year, um, they wanted to do a castle-inspired one. And this was the bag that they brought out. Wishes! This <laughs> was meant to be the castle, so obviously the castle and firework. I thought it was called the Wishes bag. I mean, yeah, I agree with you, but look how cool that is with the ring light going and we ended up getting two of these because yes at that point and he was trying every month to get them and not managing yeah. to buy them so i thought i'm gonna go on and uh help because we lived in separate places then yeah so i got up early and went on and i bought one and i thought i'm gonna be the amazing boyfriend who's got top to your boyfriend yeah and and you was like oh i got the bag this month oh all right okay good okay, now we've got two <laughs> but we managed to trade your bag yeah. for another super cool bag. Yes, which so I'll show you that one. I think is probably Thank the you. one that I'm going to bring to Florida with us. So, mm. yeah, mm. exciting. So, this one, as I said, is inspired by the castle, but mostly the fireworks show that you see at the end of the night. You've got fireworks that are the, the shape of a Mickey. It's so cute. Um, and then some of the fireworks, uh, the gold mostly, is actually embroidered on the ears, um, which is a nice little touch to it. But this is just so sparkly and fabulous. I think a lot of people really liked it because um, it reminded them of like New Year's Eve. Oh yeah. And then they were like, oh, that's kind of a fitting end for the end of the year. Um, the inside of this is done in a purple fabric and it is purple with Lots of fireworks and the castle in it, which you can see there. Yeah, and you can cool. just see uh, it. There's a little, little hidden, castle. there's actually a little hidden Mickey firework right beside the castle. Oh, is there? Yep. <laughs> Again, it's really different. <laughs> He's like, where is it? Oh, yeah. Um, there you go. Bob can, Bob can testify that it is there. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It's really difficult to show off the lines. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll stop. Maybe I'll just show off the back of that one. Go to the real lounge flight collectors on YouTube. They'll show you everything. So that was all of the mini main attraction um, collection. So obviously they were like, wow, that did really well. We need to keep making money on this. So this year they brought out the Mickey yeah. main attraction. And so I like them. <laughs> Some of them are good, but they're not really very popular in comparison. They're not as popular as the Minnie Mouse no. ones. Um, they don't have a bow on it, which a lot of people were disappointed in. Well, Mickey wouldn't have a bow. What? Well, that's the thing. Um, and But loads of people like these bags with the bows on them. Mm. So people were disappointed about that. Um, and then they hadn't shown kind of as many with all the sequins on it, mm -hmm. which... As I said before, Ninja Fly Collectors all about the sequins. They love sequin backpacks. So they're disappointed about <laughs> Ooh, that. Sparkly thing. Yeah, they're disappointed about that until the third, fourth release. Fourth release came out. I'm and that was these ones. all sequins. And it's one that I own, which I'll show you in two seconds. <laughs> okay, we've got the Mickey main attraction bags now yeah so as i said this is the one that is being released this current year mm -hmm. um they have now gotten to the june one has been released it's even august. though we're in august yeah. there's been a major backlog um they've been having a lot of issues with um getting things shipped out mm. with quality control oh really i think they speak for a lot of people um when it comes to Buying things from Shop Disney and their quality control. We and are not delivery. impressed. Oh god, don't get me started on the delivery. They use Yodel and everyone knows Yodel's. They use every. It's every now. Yeah. Yeah, they changed the name. Yeah. Just it wasn't called oh Hermes, not yeah. Yodel. It's Hermes, Hermes, which is now every. Sorry. Sorry, Yodel. I mean Yodel's alright, but <laughs> they're not great. Hermes are, are, are pretty terrible. They changed their name because everyone knew they were the worst and they're still pretty bad. Royal Mail all the way for me. Royal Mail never steer me wrong. Royal Mail and DPD. These good people. The two good ones. Anywho, <laughs> this is the first one. This is the January Mickey 
one which was themed after Space Mountain and uh, this I thought was really cool it's done in a kind of I don't know it's like a white kind of vinyl mm -hmm. um, across the whole thing you've got some space and purple kind of space with little stars and little kind of galaxies on it if you look there is a teeny tiny hidden Mickey there done out of galaxies and you had a little bit of sparkle to it mm -hmm. and then on the back of this one the back's cool you actually have Space Mountain written on it which I have heard from a lot of people because it's kind of just a printed transfer oh, oh I'm so sorry um, because it's a printed transfer well, it just wears off does it a lot of people found that it was wearing off from wearing the bag it's which is which is a real shame thankfully mine is still okay You've I, not worn it yet. I have worn it. I okay. wore it when we were in Disneyland Paris. When did you? Yes, I did. Were you even there? I was too excited to notice what bag <laughs> you were wearing. I was having too much fun. <laughs> Dancing to the suns. Oh, I'm just remembering Disneyland Paris. It was so much fun. Yeah. Anywho. So, this was the first one. Um, I didn't actually manage to get this one. I hemmed and hawed, then didn't buy it. And then... I decided I wanted to wear the Tomorrowland dress oh, yes. to Disneyland Paris and went, I need the bag to match this. So I did buy it off of eBay. Not at a ridiculous price, but I think it's gorgeous. And because I've not got the Minnie Mouse Space Mountain one, I'm happy to have it in the collection with the rest of them. Yeah. So next one is the... Uh, it's a small world, Mickey Mouse backpack. And so you've got on oh no, us teacups. That's the teacups. Sorry. Everyone went nuts for this because it's Sparkly. a sequin bag. There were so many issues with this bag. They I got that one. Yeah. Mine. I've got two bags, this Mine. one and another one. You bought it for me, but I paid you back. Did you? Yes. Okay. The other one you owned. Legally, the other one you want. Yeah. This one I paid for. Um, so this one, there was so many issues. They put it up. They put it up as a pre-order, which they hadn't told anyone about. Mm -hmm. Everyone went, bought it, and were like, this is staying up as a pre-order for ages. What's going on? It's not selling out. And then they cancelled everyone's order. Yeah. So then they had to go, okay, you can try and reorder it again the next day. Everyone did that. And then we ended up waiting like two months until the bag actually came. So like I said, issues with this collection. Yeah. But having said that, I'm super excited to have it. It is all of these beautiful pastel colours. You've even got the numbers on the side that you have. On It's a small world, like with the clock face and you've got all the numbers on the mm -hmm. windows. Which, oh. <laughs> which is pretty awesome. It's all done in gold embroidery. And then the patterns on the ears are actually embroidered on as well and you've even got the little face. Yeah. I love it. I think it's just a pastel dream. And it's, I, I just love it. I think it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, I think we will finish off on some Christmas bags. Yeah. And then that will be the end of this video. Because I like to talk a lot. Yeah. And I have quite a few bags. <laughs> so I don't think... You want to have a two, three hour long video of just bags and me talking. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you do. And you could do a live stream and you could just <laughs> oh, okay. see. God, that would go on forever. But we got other things we need to do today, so I we'll would, better wrap this up. I wouldn't even need to have anyone like send me questions or anything. I'd just sit there like in front of a phone, <laughs> just chatting away to myself. Oh, God. Anyways, Christmas bags. Christmas bags. I have two of them. Yeah. Um, I have more Halloween ones because Halloween is the superior season. Mm -hmm. And I say season because that's what it is. It's a season. <laughs> to start off with, I have got what is known as the ugly sweater all over print. This is one of these. You've got to oh, be careful. It's got a tiki verse on it. Yeah. Oh. You've got to be careful with the all over prints. Um, because if you are buying them from like a website or something like that, you don't know how they're going to come. And not all bags that are all over prints are created equal. No, they're different placement. Mm. If you're in like a store or I think this was a Perks exclusive, mm -hmm. um, 
you need to be lucky and you need to pick out which one is your favorite i feel like i did i think i got this at like a discounted rate um so not what i wanted placement wise it's not my perfect placement it's pretty but it's not bad it's got the perfect mickeys <laughs> it's got lots of mickeys so you've got mickey with his little santa hat and some little stockings some snowflakes and then you can see up the top here i will show you back and you can see it a little bit better but they did like the little toy versions of some of the attractions that you can see at the parks also this is why it's not perfect placement because if it was perfect it would have been this this and then also castle. a castle <laughs> on the back you can see the full print you've got the castles you've got the full line of all of the attractions i love the little dog for pirates of the caribbean it's so cute um and then you've got more mickeys but it's it's really nice um i had this with us when we went to blenheim yes which is cute. i like that bag it's good i think it's a really nice bag it's a fun one it, it is really fun as i said perfect world i would have had more of the attractions probably like the mickeys maybe the castles here and then like the attractions but I'm still rather pleased with it. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, but yeah, so nice little bag. And then we've got this next one, which is... Jack. It's not Jack. Santa Claus. It's Sandy Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Jack Skellington as Sandy Claus in all of his festive holiday goodness. Yeah. The thing that's really cool about this one is everything's fluffy <laughs> which also terrifies me oh. for taking this bag out anywhere because this is gonna get destroyed if it's wet, yeah. get <laughs> if it's wet it gets wet if it gets muddy if anything comes near it true oh but if big if i was ever able to get to california and be able to see you know the haunted mansion nightmare every for Christmas overlay, then maybe he yeah. would have to be brought out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. There's so many hints. I mean, they're not even hints, are they? They're, they're blatant It's a running tasking. theme yeah. throughout all of these videos. We're going to Florida, and yeah, that's what these videos are all about. Yes, but there is no harm in planning ahead. No, I agree with that. <laughs> and there is nothing more fun to plan than a Disney holiday. And I've planned a lot of this Florida one, so just means that I have to start planning a next one. And it has a little nightmare for Christmas bit on the side. Yeah. Oh. So on the badge, God, can you see it? Hopefully the camera picks it up. Um, instead of the usual lounge fly um, tag, it's actually got the nightmare before Christmas on it. Oh, you look at like that. This is why I have you around. Because <laughs> you could figure everything out. And then also, which is a cute little thing, uh, I can get it up, is the little zipper tag is actually the evil teddy bear in the little sack for him ready to deliver all of his scarily fun toys. Hooray! We made it! We made it! <laughs> Through part one of lounge fly bags. Hopefully we can do the second one a bit quicker. <laughs> I'll try my best! There's a lot of sparkles coming in the next one, oh, yes. so who knows. Mm -hmm. But hopefully you'll be ready for it. Yep. It'll be out tomorrow. Um, I think the bigger question here is, Bob, are you ready to help me with more? I don't know. <laughs> I might, might have to stop. Go and get a snack. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. Yeah. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> <laughs> sparkly thing. They're, they're pretty sparkly. I, I tried to make them sparkly. I like sparkly ones. I still have so many that I need to make. If you think all these bags are bad, I have like a whole load of beers over there too. <laughs> they're all just, to do the one, one they're all just the ones I've made as well. Yeah. Wait, we have to get thumbnail. I can say so. Nice. Bag for Bob. Bag for Enya. Another bag for Bob. A bum bag. Mix it up a bit. <laughs> Dear son, it is beautiful. More bags, please. More bags for Bob.
more bags for a buck. Heel high, mama. Make life easier.